These talks are brought to you by Claritax Books and are proudly sponsored by Six Forward Capital Allowances. Welcome to the next in our series of talks on capital allowances. Last week we looked at the statutory principles underpinning the concept of the capital allowances apportionment. This week we'll examine how the apportionment is actually made. To recap the basic principle, the apportionment is a way of identifying that part of the overall expenditure that is allocated to a particular item of plant or machinery. In practice, we're usually concerned with valuing the fixtures within a property. Now, although the principle of the apportionment has a statutory foundation, the formula used to calculate it does not. Nevertheless, it is well accepted both by HMRC and by specialist surveyors advising clients on capital allowances issues. So the apportioned value of the planter machinery is calculated using the formula purchase price times A over A plus B plus C, where A is the replacement cost of qualifying items of planter machinery, B is the replacement cost of the whole building excluding qualifying items of planter machinery, and C is the bare site value. So an important point of principle here is that the formula is based on the replacement cost of the plant, not on the resale value of the plant if it were to be stripped out and sold separately. What this means is that a dilapidated property where the apparent value of the fixtures is very low may in fact permit a substantial capital allowances claim. We can illustrate this with an HMRC example from the relevant Valuation Office manual. So an existing building is being sold for £5 million. The replacement cost of the fixtures is calculated as £1.5 million. The rest of the property would cost £4.5 million to replace and the bare site value is £2 million. Applying the formula, the apportioned value of the planter machinery is calculated as follows. £5 million times £1.5 million over £1.5 million plus £4.5 million plus £2 million, which gives us a figure of £937,500. As HMRC observe, the apportioned value of the planter machinery is, because of its age, lower than its replacement cost of 1.5 million. Nevertheless, the apportioned value is probably much higher than the original cost of the planter machinery 20 years previously. So, that's an overview of how the formula produces an apportioned value for fixtures in a property. It's worth noting that the formula received tax tribunal approval in the Bowerswood House Retirement Home case reported earlier this year. HMRC were arguing in that case that the formula should be used, whereas the client was arguing for a different approach. The first tier tax tribunal accepted as a fact that the formula had been used extensively over many years in this context. Furthermore, the tribunal found that the formula gave a just and reasonable apportionment on the particular facts of the case, which the alternative approach did not. So what are the practical implications? Well, first, it can be seen that a rough and ready approach that says the fixtures are old and practically worthless, let's allocate a notional value of £5,000, will give a result that is out by a huge margin. Second, the proper calculation of the value necessarily involves valuation skills that most accountants and tax specialists, myself included, by the way, simply do not have. Even surveyors who regularly value land and property for other commercial purposes will often lack the specialist expertise to carry out capital allowances valuations of land, buildings and fixtures. And incidentally, they may not have PI cover for tax advice. So reasonable skill and care must be taken to reduce the likelihood of HMRC inquiries and to avoid the risk of tax penalties. Next week, we'll start to look at some worked examples that incorporate both fixtures elections and apportionments. 
Thank you for watching. I'm Ray Chidel, author of Capital Allowances and of the A to Z of Plant and Machinery from Claritax Books. This talk was sponsored by Six Forward, an independent property tax consultancy working with accountants to enhance capital allowances for their clients.